Top 10 Bizarre True Stories 1. Bees Who Pay Their Respects Margaret Bell, who kept bees in Lime Warden, about seven miles from her home in Ludlow, Shropshire, England, died in June 1994. Soon after her funeral, mourners were amazed to see hundreds of bees settle on the corner of the street opposite the house where she'd lived for 26 years. The bees stayed for an hour before buzzing off over the rooftops. The local press ran a photograph of the bees hanging out on the wall in a cluster. 2. Phantom Car Crash On December 11, 2002, two motorists called police to report seeing a car veering off the A3 trunk road with headlights blazing in Burfham in Surrey. A thorough search uncovered a car concealed in dense undergrowth and the long dead driver nearby. It turned out that the crash had actually happened five months earlier when the driver, Christopher Chandler, had been reported missing by his brother. 3. Enigmatic Earth Divot An irregular shaped hole about 10 feet by 7 feet with 2 feet in vertical sides was found on a remote farm near Grand Coulee in Washington State in October of 1984. It had not been there a month earlier. Dribblings of earth and stones led to a 3-ton grass-covered earth divot 75 feet away. It was almost as if the divot had been removed with a gigantic cookie cutter, except that roots dangled intact from the vertical side of both hold and slab. There were no clues such as vehicle tracks, and an earthquake was thought to be very unlikely. 4. Balloon Buddies Laura Buxton released a helium-filled balloon during celebrations for her grandparents' gold wedding anniversary in Blurton, Staffordshire in June of 2001. Attached to the balloon was her name and address and a note asking the finder to write back. Ten days later, she received a reply. The balloon had been found by another Laura Buxton in the garden hedge of her home in Pusey, Wiltshire, 140 miles away. Both Lauras were aged 10 and both had three-year-old black Labradors, a guinea pig and a rabbit. 5. Hum Misty For Me a noise a bit like amplifier feedback had been heard for three years coming from the right ear of a Welsh pony called Misty, according to the veterinary record, April 1995. It varied in intensity but stayed at a constant pitch of 7 kHz. Hearing a buzzing in one's ear is called subjective tinnitus. Much rarer is when others can also hear the noise. This is called objective tinnitus and the cause is still largely a matter of debate. Six. Whirlwind Children A nine-year-old Chinese girl was playing in Songjian near Shanghai in July 1992 when she was carried off by a whirlwind and deposited unhurt in a treetop almost two miles away. According to a wire report from May 1986, a freak wind lifted up 13 children in the oasis of Hami in western China and deposited them unharmed in sand dunes and scrub 12 miles away. 7. Riverside Mystery Gloria Ramirez, age 31, died of kidney failure at Riverside General Hospital, California in February 1994, after being rushed there with chest pains. Emergency room staff were felled by fumes when a blood sample was taken. A strange oily sheen on the woman's skin and unexplained white crystals in her blood were reported. A doctor suffered liver and lung damage and bone necrosis. At least 23 other people were affected. One hypothesis was that Ramirez, who had cervical cancer, had taken a cocktail of medicines that combined to make an insecticide. But tests yielded no clue. 8. Boulders in Trees In April 1997, a turkey hunter in Yellowwood State Forest, Indiana, came upon a huge sandstone boulder wedged between three branches of an oak tree about 35 feet from the ground. The arrow-shaped rock was estimated to weigh 500 pounds. Subsequently, four more large boulders were found wedged high up in trees elsewhere in the forest. All were in remote areas, none of the trees were damaged, and there were no signs of heavy equipment being used or tornado damage, and no one recalled any mishaps involving dynamite anywhere nearby. 9. Helpful Voices While on holiday, a woman referred to by the British Medical Journal in 1997 as AB heard two voices in her head telling her to return home immediately. Back in London, the voices gave her an address that turned out to be a hospital's brain scan department. The voices told her to ask for a scan as she had a brain tumor and her brain stem was inflamed. Though she had no symptoms, a scan was eventually arranged and she did, indeed, have a tumor. After an operation, AB heard the voices again. We're pleased to have saved you. 
they said goodbye. AB made a full recovery. 10. La Mancha Negro A hazard unique to Venezuelan highways is a slippery goo called La Mancha Negra, the black stain, although it is more of a sludge with the consistency of chewing gum. Although the government has spent millions of dollars in research, no one knows what the goo is and where it comes from or how to get rid of it.